Jordan, well done tonight. As you walked up the steps to speak to us here, you were beaming from ear to ear. What does that say about the mood that's in the squad at the moment? Because it's absolutely bouncing. Oh, definitely. We're um, from that first one at Tramio. We've we've been confidence has been high, and even even with the with the losses that we had before, we're, we're still quite confident. But at the minute, it, it is like I say, it's, it's just bouncing, and hopefully we can keep this um, good run of form. And of course, uh, tonight it was another epic one to, for supporters to watch. What was it like to playing out there? Yeah, it was unreal. It's, it's always like that. Every time we every time we come here, the fans have been been unreal um, we know what we're going to get from them and they've been, they've been sticking by us even when we're losing so to come at the minute when we're, when we're flying it, it's just it's just unbelievable to come in A goal and assist from you tonight as well talk us through both Yeah um, Oates you made a good run down the left hand side and ball happened to just fall to me and I seen George coming in so it was just a nice little set for him to just side put it in and George happened to uh, pay the favour um, nice little ball over the top for me to just to just put it over the keeper, um, the ball made it. I just made the run, knew George was going to put it, uh, and the ball was bouncing, so there was only one really option I could do, and that was to put it over him. Now he's a big lad as well, isn't he? So you had to really put that in the sky. Was there ever a second and you thought we thought this might drop the wrong side? No, not really. The, the, the pitch is quite wet, so I never thought it was going to bounce over, so I knew if I put it over him, it, 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 it's going to go in. Um, so, yeah, I was quite confident as soon as the ball got put over. Now, you've been getting a reputation of late of Mr Versatile, played mm. absolutely everywhere. Mm. Obviously, you prefer to play uh, uh, up front and get in the goals, as you have been doing, but I think it just says everything about this team, doesn't it, that everyone just wants to play, they don't care where. Exactly, yeah, obviously you've got Hawks playing centre-back. We knew when we came in that he could do that he could um, go there, but obviously he's, he's a striker by trade. Um, John Joe, centre-mid. He was the number 10 when I used to play against him about five, six years ago. Um, and obviously he dropped back. I've been playing all sorts of positions, but I'm not going to complain. I'm, I'm here to do a job for the team. It's, it's a team sport and that's what I'm going to keep doing no matter where he puts me. It's an incredible run of form, probably one of the best in England in terms of consecutive wins and things like that. Was there ever a point in that 14 game spell where we weren't picking up points where you thought it might not click? No, not really. Obviously it's a, it's a new squad. Just, from last season, how many down players? There's nine, ten new players. So it's going to take a while, um, and it shows now that it, that it has, and it's paid off. And fair plays to the to the staff and the players because we're on this uh, great run of form, and it just shows the um, the confidence that we've got in the team. And I imagine every day is an absolute laugh as well. What's it like to work on the Nigel Club? As you hear so many stories about different training methods, playing cricket, having little games, having little bits of laugh. What's it like to work under him day to day? Honestly, I've, n I've never had anyone like him and like that's a positive. He he's, for me, he's one of the best managers I've, I've worked for. Probably, he's probably the best. Um, he just he does everything down to what, what suits the players. He he's not going to get you out there and run you if, you, if you're tired. Um, he'll, he'll give you rest, he'll, he'll get us to go play golf. He does everything. Everything is down to you, and um, I feel like we we are we repay him in that way with obviously the results. But even when training's a laugh, whatever, we always put in 100%. Training's always spot on, no matter what we do. And um, fair play to him and his staff because um, we all love training. We're all working for him. How much impact does that have on the environment? Because to come into work every day, and you know they say you never work a day in your life if you're enjoying yourself. Yeah, exactly. I've um, I've been at teams where you're on the training pitch for two and a half hours, and the lads can't wait to get off because it's just a slog. And I know, obviously, people people on the outside will think, "Oh, you only work <clears throat> minimum hours." But when we're out there, we put in everything. But like I say, when it's not as long, we're still working our socks off. And yeah, the lads love it. You know, the supporters have certainly seen that as well. Now, as we look out to the One Core Stadium here, mm. there's everywhere's empty. All the fans have gone. And that's what it would have been like playing last season. But this season, the fans have been back. And over the last three, four games or so, they've been incredible, haven't they? I think it's been like this from the start, to be honest. Um, obviously, I was here last season with no fans, so I didn't know. I didn't really know what to expect. And uh, the first few games of the season, obviously, when we was flying, um, even when we lost at Bradford, they were they were fantastic then. And like I say, recently, it, it showed, even Warsaw away when we got battered, they were unbelievable. Sunderland away, uh, Sunderland away, unbelievable. Donny away, 
away fa home and away they're just they're just there non-stop chanting and it like I say I can't, I can't thank them enough to, uh, to get right behind the lads now you've seen some supports in your time as well is this up there with one of the best yeah definitely um, obviously I've been at I've been at some, uh, some big clubs um, and this I, I say this tops it because they're, they're just non-stop um, it must be hard for the away fans to come here and, and hear that um, but yeah, even even like say for League Two, it's it's unbelievable from all the way up. Final two from me. Firstly, halfway through the season, what's the second half of the season hold for Jordan Bowery? Um, hopefully, more of what you've seen today and in the past few games. Um, but obviously, the main thing is obviously to get the points for the team. Um, but I want to just give everything, no matter where I play, whether I score or not. Obviously, I, I'm a striker. I get. People, fans will probably be out there saying I don't score enough or whatever. To me, obviously, I like to score, but I don't mind if <laughs> if I don't as long as we're winning. Just outside the playoffs on goal difference tonight, thanks to that 3 2 win over Swindon, how far can this Mansfield Town team go? I think we can go all the way. Um, I don't, <clears throat> I'm, I'm not just being like biased or big headed. I, th I think the squad that we've got, the staff that we've got, I think we, I think we can go up there into the automatic. And, and um, if, if we just miss out, Playoffs, playoffs is the minimum at the minute. Very finally, what's your message to the supporters to back you for that second half of the campaign? I just appreciate everything that they've done so far and hopefully they can stick with us for the remainder of the season because they've been unbelievable and just, yeah, stick, stick by us.